Hey guys, long time no chat. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, been so MIA from YouTube, but if you follow me on my blog, I've actually been updating quite a bit on really long posts because I went to um, Auckland in New Zealand for about a week. Uh, for a business conference and then I went shopping after that with my boyfriend. We went to um, some different islands and stuff and it was all really really fun so you can read about my adventure on my blog which I will post the link here or below in the down bar if you want to have a look. Um, yeah so basically I wanted to do a new video. This video has been very highly requested because I'm very into lip products and as you can tell from the title this, um, this video will be on my top 10 lip products. Actually I've got 12 which I've kind of cheated a little bit in a sense. I do have um, nine lipsticks. I'm a very, very big lipsticks person. I do have a couple of um, favorite lip glosses and I've got one um, kind of like a lip balm slash lipstick. So let me get on with it because I'm sure that this video is going to be quite long. Well, let me actually start first by saying that I'm a very, very big nude and pink lips girl. So everything I wear will either be nude or pink. Um, it might be like a soft pink or it might be a little more dramatic of a pink, but I wouldn't go so much into reds or, um, you know, like a darker nude. I typically won't go too dark of a nude. So it's either a very pale washed out nude or a pale pink or a darker pink. Okay, so to start off with, I'll um, go with my nude. Now, one of my favourite nude lipsticks is um, Gosh Darling, and it is by the brand Gosh, and it's called Darling. It's a very, very extremely pale nude. So it basically looks like this, if you guys can see it, and it's just very, very nude. It's exactly the same, or maybe even lighter than my skin tone. Now, um, the reason why I like this is because obviously you can top it with lipsticks that are a bit too dark for your liking, and you can actually make them appear um, lighter by using this new lip gloss sorry, nude lipstick, or you can just put it as a base and then put a gloss on top of it so that it kind of mutes out your lips. So I really like um, the fact that this lipstick can be used in so many different ways and I've used quite a lot of it. Um, I was, it was given to me by a friend on YouTube and I did do a blog post, I believe, on um, the gift pack that she sent me. So if you guys are interested, it's on my blog. Then my next favourite nude lipstick is the NYX lipstick in Circe. And now, um, I talked about this a lot and actually I wear it in a lot, a lot of my videos. And every time I've just got like a total blanked out, muted out, uh, lip, it's usually NYX Circe. A lot of people have actually commented on a lot of my videos asking what I'm wearing in my video and um, when it's like I said, muted out lips, it's usually Circe. And this is basically what it looks like. It's a bit darker than the Gosh Darling which I will just put next to it in comparison. Um, so on this side, this one is Gosh Darling, and the other side is um, the NYX Circe. So I really, really like these two lipsticks. I probably, I would say that I wear the NYX Circe more, just because it's a little more wearable, um, even though it, you know, it can do everything that the Gosh Darling does also, but it is a little bit darker. So those two are my absolute favourite nude lipsticks. Um, okay, next I'm going to go into, I guess, a more baby-ish pink. Or, because for, for me, a light baby pink might not be your light baby pink. It might be really, really pale pink. But then for me, when a dark pink is on my lip, it might be your baby pink. Because everyone's got a different skin tone. So I guess I'm just going to go and in, dive into all the pinks. My absolute favourite lipstick that I pretty much wear on an everyday basis is NYX's um, Strawberry Milk. And I, again, I've talked about this before because I absolutely love this and I'm running out of it, sadly. So this is what it looks like. And um, it's just a really, really, really pale, I guess, um, exactly what it says, strawberry milk pink. So I really, really love that. My next favourite um, is one from Misha. It's the Creamy Matte 
lip rouge line and um, it's in VL01. A lot of people say that this is very comparable to comparable to Max Knob lipstick, which um, I haven't exact, I don't own, but I've swatched it many, many times because I've always wanted to own it. But um, I'm not sure because I haven't like placed them right next to each other before. But I would say it's quite similar um, from what I see. So this is um, the Misha Creamy Creamy Matte Lip Rouge in VL01. It's um, a really, really nice wearable pink. And it's got a bit of a purple undertone to it as well. And the next one that I really love also has um, a purple undertone to it. Actually, it's more like a bluey, bluey purple undertone. And this is NYX's lipstick in Power. I also really, really love this one. But I guess in a sense, it's less wearable than the Misha one because it has more of a purple undertone. Um, whereas the Misha one has more... Uh, less of a purple undertone and more of a um, blue tone. I'll just ha I'll just let you guys have a look at it and you guys can um, have a look at the difference yourself. So as you can see this one over here which is the NYX Power is a lot more purple than this one over here which is um, the Misha one. I'll try to provide swatches on my blog but I'm not very efficient with swatches so don't count on me for that. But, um, yeah, these two are absolute my favourite uh, purpley undertone lipsticks. The next one, which I think um, is a lot of people's favourite as well, is the Rimmel um, Lasting Finish Lipstick in Pink Blush. And it looks like this. And a lot of people say that this is a um, very good dupe for the MAC Gaga lipstick, which... I really, really love, but I don't have it right here in front of me as I wouldn't say it's one of my top favourites just because I didn't like the formula so much because it, it was very, very drying on my lips. I'm not sure if that's just me or if anyone else, but it was just very drying on my lips. But um, I do really, really like this one. I think the formula is a bit better, even though I really hate the smell on these Rimmel lipsticks. I just think it smells very plasticky and I don't like that. Speaking of smells, one of my absolute favourite lipsticks is this um, LA Girl lipstick. It's a very, very cheap brand that you can get anywhere in Sydney, you know, like $2 store or like one of those bargain stores. And it's called Secret Admirer. So it just looks like that. And, um, sorry, this is a bit dirty. But basically it looks like this. It looks like a watermelon shade. Uh, very coral pink, I would say. And I'm wearing it on my lips right now. Um, I don't know if the camera picks that up or if the, sh is the light shining on too bright on me. But um, basically, this lipstick, yeah, it's like a corally pink colour. And I absolutely love it because it smells like watermelon. Oh, it smells so amazing. I just love it. So I really, really like this lipstick. It's actually quite pigmented for its price. I think I got it for like 3 or $4. So um, it's one of the cheaper lipsticks that you can find in Sydney, Australia. And if you guys like coral, coral pink lipsticks, I definitely, definitely recommend this one. LA Girls Secret Admirer. And the formula is actually very, very, very moisturising. So I love this formula. It's pigmented and it smells amazing. So definitely recommend this lipstick. It's, it probably belongs to one of my top ones. But the thing is I barely carry it out because I've got so many other lipsticks in my makeup bag. So anyway, um, the next one that I want to talk about is Maybelline's Pink Please. I haven't worn this for a very, very long time, but it was one of my very favourites uh, for a very, very long time. And I've got a backup of it as well. So this is definitely one of my favourite lipsticks. It's It actually really looks like um, the LA Girls Secret Admirer, but it's more of a coral Um is it more of a coral? I don't know. I'm really, really bad at explaining. So I guess you guys can just look at that. It's a very, very um, nice pink shade though. It's I would say that the pigmentation isn't that great. So it's quite sheer, but it's very buildable. So if you guys um, like that kind of lipstick where you want to wear it for every day, but you don't want to you don't want it to be so dramatic, then I definitely recommend the Maybelline one. Um, again, it's called Pink Please, and it just looks like this. It's from the Colour Sensational line, sorry, I forgot to mention. 
Now, my last lipstick that I'm actually going to talk about. Um, I don't wear this very often because it's actually quite dark for my liking, but I do still really, really like it. It's from Revlon and it's called Carnation. And it, this is from the Colorburst range. And um, it's a very, very bright pink, if you guys can see. It's almost leaning towards um, kind of a clubbing pink. So I wouldn't actually wear this on a day basis. Um, I might wear it on a night or I might even top it off with a nude lip gloss if I'm ever wearing this lipstick because it's just a bit much for the day. But I do really, really like it. Okay, moving on to lip glosses. Um, I've got two lip glosses that I really, really, really enjoy wearing and I actually wear these all the time. I don't switch to any other lip gloss because I just love them to death. The first one is a nude one and it's, all, and it's again by Revlon. It is the, um, oh, what's it called? Peach Petal. It's the Super Luxurious Lip Glosses by Revlon and it's in Peach Petal and this is an absolute absolutely gorgeous nude shade and um sometimes i just put concealer or foundation over my lips and then i just top this top it off with this and it just makes a really really nice just totally muted out um like nude lips for me and with a bit of gloss so it looks really really good um or else sometimes I'll just use this when my lips are already moisturized and it just turns out to be like a baby pink on my lips so it's really really nice I love it and it makes my lips actually look really really nice and moisturized so um love that the next thing um the, the next lip gloss I also really really like is the MAC lip gloss in in Gaga Glam Viva Glam Gaga, sorry. Just looks like this. I'm not sure if it's a, it's a limited edition or whatever, but I'm sure that I've still seen it in stores. So, um, I actually prefer the gloss over the lipstick. And like I said before, I really do like the lipstick, but the lip gloss is very, very, very pigmented. It's moisturizing. And like I said, the lipstick wasn't moisturizing at all, which is why I didn't really like it. But I really, really love this one. Um, some most of the time I just wear it on its own because it's so pigmented that it really shows up on my lips and I've got quite pigmented lips which is why I always like nude lipsticks so that's why I really really like this okay the very very last thing is actually a moisturizing lip color balm and it's by Clinique it's called chubby stick now I know these are very very new and if you guys don't follow me on my blog I am the Clinique it girl of 2011 I was chosen as one of the five so um, in a sense I'm not really promoting this product but I was given this product by Clinique for um, for review purposes on their channel. So anyway, um, I really learned to love this chubby stick. I've used so much of it and it's literally just like a crayon and you can twist it up. So it looks like that. You can twist it up as high as you like, but usually I just like make it quite low and it's so moisturizing and it just gives the best um, sort of a pink color payoff on your lips and it just looks amazing um i received two of them but the pink one is my absolute favorite and ever since i got this i don't even use lip balms anymore or i used to use my purple ointment a lot but i don't use it anymore because this is just very very moisturized you don't actually have to apply lip balm and then lipstick and then lip gloss this is like all into one so this is an absolute amazing product i would recommend you guys pick it up if you have a clinic counter near you um i believe it's quite expensive though it's 35 dollars um, in australia but again the mac lipsticks in australia 35 dollars as well so i would actually prefer to pick up one of these because it's very moisturizing than a mac lipstick so that's about it um hope you guys enjoyed this little review on my couple of lipsticks lip glosses and lip products and um you guys should definitely pick up some of these products they're my absolute holy grails love them love them love them been using them for ages so um yeah hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you guys in my next video bye yeah!